Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video and today I'm going to be creating a profile for the ADJ Chameleon Q-Bar Pro. Now this is an interesting fixture because it has three individual LEDs uh, and is used to create a kind of an upward fan uh, type wash against uh, a wall. Uh, you may have seen these and I think Chauvet DJ have got a similar unit called the Slim Beam Quad. Now the theory um, uh, in this video uh, can also be applied to other fixtures uh, that have kind of multiple LEDs. Uh, now that might be uh, something like uh, a, you know, a bar fixture for example which has you know, multiple LEDs where you can control individual sections of it and it also applies uh, to things like uh, star cloths. Uh, for your DJ booth. Um, I've created a profile using this technique uh, for my quad star cloth. Okay, so right, let's get started. Um, so first off, um, I'm using an iPad and I've got uh, I've got it connected to the internet and as you can see, it's logged into my LightCloud account. The little green uh, person icon on the top right shows that I'm logged in. Okay, right, so let's go and tap Add Profile and let give our profile a sensible name. So call it Chameleon Q Bar Pro. And uh, type the fixture brand. So start typing American DJ, tap American DJ, and then hit Create. Okay, uh, this uh, will then create a, a profile. Uh, an empty profile. So, uh, as always, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you'll need the user guide uh, for your lighting fixture. Now, the Chameleon Cubar Pro has a number of DMX channel modes. It has a very simple four channel mode, those four channels being red, green, blue, and amber, um, uh, that we could use. But if we use that, um, then all three beams of the Cubar Pro uh, would always be the same color. Uh, given there's only four channels, uh, this particular channel mode would, uh, wouldn't allow us to control each LED individually. So carry on looking through the manual, you'll see that there is a five channel mode that has a channel number five as master dimmer, um, still not looking like there's enough control there. Seven channel mode um, allows some strobing and some color macros. Um, as I've said, mentioned in previous videos, um, you really uh, want to avoid using kind of internal color macros or internal programs um, because um, and ultimately what you're doing there is just triggering a DMX command that says that tells the light to go off and run an internal program. Uh, you're not really using DMX uh, properly, as it were. Um, uh, you really want to make sure that Light Rider um, is uh, is controlling your light, um, or your lighting fixtures, and not uh, just uh, telling them to go off and run internal shows. If you've got multiple lights there, then the chances are that those internal shows would go out of sync in terms of timing. Anyway, carrying on through the manual, um, nine channel mode, yeah, that's got more uh, channels for things like programs, um, uh, but then, uh, oh, 10 channel, again, uh, so, uh, introduces uh, things like program speed and sound sensitivity, all of those that say they're not gonna, they're not gonna help us in Light Rider. Ah, right, 12 channel mode. Now it starts to look interesting, um, because 12 channel mode is very simply uh, red, green, blue, and amber for pixel one, uh, red, green, uh, blue and amber for pixel two, and red, green, blue, and amber for pixel three. Okay, so that very clearly suggests that this controls each LED within the unit. Um, I can, uh, just looking forward a bit further, there's a 14 channel mode uh, that uh, introduces a master dimmer, and I think that's a strobing channel for 14. Um, now, LED fixtures uh, don't need a separate strobing channel um, because uh, the actual individual uh, kind of LED colors, the red, green, blue, can be, can be dimmed uh, to zero um, in a matter of, well, uh, no time at all. So you don't need to have a separate dimmer channel. Um, Light Rider is completely capable of strobing uh, just red, green, and blue channels. So uh, let's go for a 12 channel mode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that my Chameleon Cubar Pro is set in uh, 12 uh, channel mode and I'm going to create 12 channels and they're relatively straightforward. Um, so I'm going to tap add channel and choose red, tap add channel, choose green, tap add channel, choose blue and tap add channel and the four, number four is amber. There's no amber so I'm going to choose extra colour tap the words extra color and rename it to amber. 
Now, a couple of people have contacted me and said that they're not convinced that using extra color uh, works properly and sometimes can produce some quite unusual results. And they're right, it can do. Uh, because uh, what we haven't really done is told Lightrider what color this channel actually is. Now, if you look on the screen here, you'll see uh, just below and to the right of the word amber, there's a min and a max value, min being black and max being white. Uh, so uh, now my experience so far um, is that uh, this profile will treat this particular channel, channel four here, even though I've called it amber, as a white channel. Um, however, um, I have tried experimenting with changing those min and max colors and it's produced some very strange results. So uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna leave them, at, leave min and max as they are. Um, I have actually sent off a question uh, via email to the to the guys at um, Lightrider and the Profile Builder uh, support team to see if I can get some more information about what those min and max values really do. Um, because as in an ideal world, we really need to make sure that these color channels work properly. But for the moment, for the purpose of this video, um, leaving them as they are uh, does work. And I've tried, uh, tried it using this uh, profile um, and it, uh, it, I made sure that actually all of the colors uh, from the Qbar Pro um, were correct. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave them there for now and uh, add more. So channel five is another red, channel six is green, channel seven is blue, and channel eight is another amber. So tap to delete the name, call it amber. Channel nine is repeating again. You've probably spotted the pattern. Channel 10 is green. Channel 11 is blue. And channel 12 is the final amber. Now, that's not quite all that we need to do. Um, because it, just by uh, adding 12 channels, uh, Light Rider uh, will still treat um, all of those channels um, as one single fixture, okay, it, and it won't be able to necessarily be able to uh, treat those beams as individual light beams within a within our lighting unit. Uh, there's one more thing we have to do, um, and to, uh, what we need to do is go through each channel one more time um, and assign it a beam number, okay? Because so our our Chameleon Cubar Pro has three beams. So if I tap channel number one red. Um, uh, you'll see on the right hand side, uh, way to the right of the word red, there is a button that says beams. Um, and if I tap that, I'm going to click the plus button at the bottom to add beam number one. If I choose channel number two, tap beams, and then that's going to be beam number one. Ch uh, tap channel number three, tap the beams button, choose beam number one, tap channel four, then the beams button, choose beam number one. Right, channel five uh, is going to be beam number two. So I tap the plus button, add that will add beam number two. Uh, channel number six, tap the beams button, select channel number two. Channel seven, tap the beams button, choose beam number two. And channel eight, tap the beams button, choose beam number two. Channel nine, is our beam number three. So we tap the plus to add a third beam. Tap channel number 10, choose beams, oops, choose uh, channel, sorry, beam number three. 11, I'm having trouble tapping my keyboard now. Uh, sorry, so I did channel 10, that should be three, yeah. 11 beams, that's beam number three. And then finally 12. Uh, that's beam number three as well. Okay, so now we have told Lightrider um, that we have 12 channels in total, but uh, and we've assigned uh, the first four to beam number one, the second four, as in f as channels five to eight, as beam number two, and uh, channels nine through 12 is beam number three. Okay, uh, that's all we need to do. So I'm gonna tap back and then choose save okay you can see there's a little tiny green dot just to the top right hand corner of my chameleon cubar pro, pro uh, profile uh, which means that uh, that profile has been successfully synced to my light cloud account okay right let's just hop into light rider 
Nope, let's hop into Light Rider. Okay, we'll just wait for this to start up. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've actually got a Chameleon Q-Bar Pro uh, connected. Um, I've got um, a Lightrider LR512 um, interface uh, connected to my home network. So Lightrider should, in theory, find the LR512 after, I was, after it's had a little bit of a snoop around on my home network. Doesn't always find it the first time. Let's see if we can persuade it to connect. Is it going to do anything? Perhaps not. Okay. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't. Oh, no, it has. There we go. Great. Second time lucky. Cool. Okay. I'm going to go into fixtures view uh, and tap the person icon to add my newly created profile. So American DJ, there it is, Chameleon Cubar Pro. I'm going to tap the mode buttons to say, yes, good news, that is the 12 channel profile I created. Tap add fixture, and then I'm going to give it the correct DMX addresses. I've actually got a Cubar Pro uh, sat on my desk here. So it's DMX address 182, and boom, it jumps into life. Awesome. Okay, uh, you'll see that uh, all the channels are uh, doing exactly the same thing. Right, uh, just for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to switch to live mode. I'm going to simplify this to have just a red uh, color. And I'm going to choose the, uh, the light rider effect. And I'm going to slow the speed down so that you can actually see it a little bit more clearly. If I go back into fixtures view now, uh, you will see that uh, that uh, this is this kind of makes it clear that Light Rider is actually treating uh, each of the beams individually uh, now, so that it's they're not all lighting up at the same time, um, and it is in fact able to spread this kind of effect um, over the three individual LEDs within uh, within this profile, which is cool. That means I can now get some rather some rather more interesting effects uh, with just the one fixture, but using Light Rider. Okay, uh, if I switch back to live mode, if I add a second color, so let's just add in blue, and uh, if I switch to the uh, the carousel, uh, uh, what we'll see now in fixtures view is uh, the fact that it's uh, swapping between, uh, uh, so if I look on the ceiling, I can see that I've got either two red beams on the outside and a blue one in the center, or I've got two blue beams on the outside and one red in the center. Um, again, kind of showing very clearly that uh, Light Rider is, is controlling each of these beams individually um, and not just as one uh, single color across all three beams on this, on this fixture. Uh, okay, so that's it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the, you can use this approach uh, for things like bars that uh, that have multiple sections um, to allow you to create uh, kind, of, kind of like multiple colored effects across an individual uh, individual bar. Um, and the same principle applies uh, to star cloth. As, as I said, I've used, uh, uh, I've created a profile for my, uh, my star cloth. I've got a quad star cloth, which runs in something like 28 channel mode. And it has, I think it's four or five different segments, um, each of uh, red, green, blue, and white. So uh, um, I now have my star cloth in my DMX chain um, and, uh, and the colors of the star cloth sync to the other kind of color wash, you know, the kind of up lighters or par cans that I use uh, in my DJ setup. I hope you find that helpful. Um, uh, and uh, there's a little tip in there. So none, that, none of that's actually covered in the, uh, the user guide for uh, Profile Builder. Um, so I hope it was useful. Um, if you have any questions, as always, uh, pop them into the comments below or head over to the uh, to the Light Rider uh, and my DMX Go help and support group. Um, on Facebook. Um, there are usually a few people over there that have, uh, have done this kind of thing. Um, so generally someone that can help you out um, if you're struggling, myself included. And uh, um, I appreciate that there's a couple of unanswered questions in this video, um, particularly around those kind of min and max colors uh, for uh, the extra color channels. Um, and I will see if I can get some answers to that and then post those in another video uh, to follow. But otherwise, that's all for now, so thank you very much.